Before we get started with today's warm up, we just want to remind you that Orange Theory Nation is back. Over a thousand studios have already reopened. Make sure you check your local studio, see if you can get in there and take a class. We miss you. Now, let's get right into it. We have five minutes here, nice dynamic warm up. We're gonna start with a cobra swing. So, those arms are gonna start extended and you're gonna reach right back as that chest stays elevated the whole time. Feet are also in contact with the ground. From there, we'll go into a T-spine rotation. Hand behind your head, bring that elbow in right towards the opposite wrist. You got 30 seconds each side. Then we're gonna stand up, we're gonna go into a squat to stand. You're gonna sit those hips back, reach down, for the floor and then let those hips come up as you fully and feel those stretch, uh, that stretch on your hamstrings. Then we have a single leg a down dog to single leg knee tuck. So one leg's going up and going right into that knee tuck towards your chest, right towards the back of that elbow. And we're gonna finish off with an alternating power skip to get that heart rate elevated here. Drive up with one leg at a time with enough force so that foot comes off the ground. There's an option, just march. You got five minutes, let's get warmed up.
love burning in the furnace. We are, we are, we are, we are. Too hard to take a hold. All right, Orange Nation, we have a total body block for you for the next 10 minutes. Your first exercise is a seated uppercut. So you start in your chair, set position, shoulders down and back, elbows by your ribs. You're going to press the weight above your forehead, bring it back to that starting position. You have 10 reps. Second exercise, grab your chair, feet start together. You're going to hop your feet together from one side to the other, making sure you land on your toes soft. The option would be to step side to side, 10 total reps. Next exercise is a plank walkout. So you start standing set position, walk out to a plank, pause for a second when you get into that plank, and then walk it all the way back up to the top. That's one rep, you have 10 total. And then our final exercise is a side plank pendulum. So your set position, elbow right below your shoulder, core engaged, hips up. You swing your leg forward and back. Every time you come forward is one rep. You have five on each side. You're gonna repeat those four exercises for 10 minutes. Let's get to work. Target
got four minutes of fun coming at you. Four rounds of 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. Julia, you ready? Yes. All right, working our core. Starting off with 20 seconds of a double crunch. Lying supine on the ground with a medium weight object. We're driving that object towards our knee and then extending our arms and our legs over. From there, we're going right into a static crunch with an alternating heel touch. Set your object aside. You're bending your knees 90 degrees, peeling your shoulder blades off the floor, and you're tapping your fingers from heel to heel. 20 seconds. Let's get started. Total body add-on block coming at you. John, 
Let's start off with some good old fashioned burpees. Exercise number one, air burpees. In your standing set position, squatting down, bringing your hands down to the floor, exploding up at the top. Option, step your feet back and omit the jump. You got five reps there. Exercise number two, bicep curl. So grabbing two medium objects or weights in your standing set position, bending your elbows, bringing the objects roughly two to three inches from your shoulders, and then lowering down. 10 reps there. Exercise number three, overhead tricep extension. A little bit heavier weight in your standing set position, arms extended over your head, bend the elbows, and squeeze your triceps at the top. 10 total there. And last but not least, exercise number four, plank shoulder taps. In your high plank set position, you're tapping your opposite shoulder, really focusing on anti-rotation of your hips. Option, you can perform from the knees. You got three rounds. Round number one, exercises one and two. Round two, exercises one, two, and three. John, you guessed it. Round three, exercises one through four. Let's get it started.
We have a cardio round coming at you. Eight minutes of work. We're going to knock out three rounds. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it. So lateral hops you're starting off with. You're jumping side to side. Imagine that you're jumping over something on the ground. Keeping it light on the feet option here is you can just step it over instead. Then you're going to move into a squat jack. So feet are nice and hip width apart. Going low in that squat, you're jumping the feet in together. Option is to step it out into that squat, bring it back together, and then step it out to the other side. Then you're moving into a running jack. So your shoulders are over your wrist. You're engaging that core. Your feet are moving nice and quickly as you drive that knee towards the chest. Option, tap the toe on the ground instead. Last favorite thing, tuck jumps. We're going to move into it. We have that 30 seconds of work here, bringing those knees up towards your chest, engaging your core. So 30 seconds of work, then you'll have 15 seconds of rest, eight minutes of work, team. Let's conquer it.
You made it to the end. We have a four minute flexibility block. We're gonna start with a standing chest stretch. Elbows down and back, really open up that chest. You'll hold it for 20 seconds, then we'll go into a standing reverse shoulder stretch. Hands will go right behind that lower back. You're gonna pull those hands away from your body to feel that stretch on your shoulders. 20 seconds there. Then we'll go down into a runner's lunge with rotation. One leg's gonna be forward. Palms going down into next to that instep. Other hands reaching up and out. You'll hold 20 seconds on each side. Then we'll take a seat, go right into a seated body twist, cross one leg over the other, opposite arm is pushing on the outside of that leg. You'll do 20 seconds each side. And lastly, we have an angled child's pose. Big toes are gonna be together, sit those hips back, reach with those fingers and walk them out two to three steps over to one side, hold it for 20 seconds, go back to center, then another two to three seconds on the other side. Great job, thank you for joining us. And I gotta work it out. Got me punched drunk on the ropes Suffering blow by blow Fight toe to toe Placing bets but Oh, oh, oh. 